Well, hello and good morning, everyone. Welcome to our webinar today, um, where we'll talk, take a closer look at some of um, Europe's top um, retailers and just kind of look at their e-commerce shops and see um, how we can maybe optimize some things. Um, okay. Um, let's just have a quick test um, and see if everyone can hear me. Um, so maybe just raise your hand. Um, give me a quick hands up. That would be great. Okay, I see some coming in. Maybe we'll wait another second. But it's looking pretty good. All right. Perfect. Then I would say let's begin. Um, so let's just kind of go ahead and meet our auditors for today. Um, so my name is Alia Myrtle. Um, I'm an e-commerce consultant at FactFinder and Loop54. Um, and basically what we do at FactFinder is that our technology will create more revenue for online shops um, since we cover all, like, all of the basic improvements like site search, um, merchandising, filters, rankings, and um, a lot more. And we kind of pimp up, pimp that up with some machine learning um, set so that your online shop visitors will be um, converted to more um, satisfied and returning customers um, and that we can increase their loyalty as well. Um, basically, we've implemented FactFinder in about 1,800 um, shops all around Europe. Um, and with our partner, Loop54, we're also able to offer you more um, artificial intelligence when it comes to personalizing um, search results and recommendations to um, get the customers to the right products. Um, and then we also have Christina and Stuart with us today. Will you guys just kind of introduce yourselves as well? Hi, everyone. Also from me, um, I'm Christina. I'm also an e-commerce consultant um, at FactFinder. Um, so also what our job is as e-commerce consultants is look at um, at the fact finder of our customers and make sure that everything is running smoothly, but also on the other way, uh, go a little bit more uh, on a strategic side with our customers to see how can we make the online shop and um, of course the search better. Hi everybody. Um, I'm joining you from my from my home office, as you can see, with my two dogs in the background there. Um, <laughs> I'm I'm Stuart. I look after the sales for the for the UK and international part of the business. Uh, been with FactFinder for around about seven years now, working with retailers in in projects uh, to help them sort of optimize their website, improve conversion rates, and more importantly, improve the customer journey and customer satisfaction. Great. Do you want to introduce your dogs as well? <laughs> yeah, they, they are quite noisy actually. So I do apologise yeah. if uh, if you hear any grunts or groans or or snoring or anything. It's not me. It's uh, it's definitely the dogs. <laughs> Great. All right. Okay. So what are we going to do today? How do the audits work? Um, basically. We're going to act as um, consumers, so we're kind of going to be looking at everything from a consumer's point of view. And then with the help of Christina and Stuart, we'll just kind of give you um, expert advice um, as well on how we see things. All right. Now, big question for today. Um, we do have um, four different retailers that we can look at today. Um, and we were just going to ask you what you guys would like to see. So we have um, Sainsbury's as a grocery store. We have um, Wayfair um, as like home and decoration um, shop. And then we also have L'Occitane for beauty and Shop Disney for merchandising. So Christina will um, just quickly run the poll so everyone can vote yes. for what they want to see. So you should see the poll right now, and um, so you can simply decide on what, uh, which store you want to see first. And um, yeah, we will do more than one, so don't worry about that. 
and uh, we'll see. Who's your Who's your money on? I really like Disney. <laughs> I feel like Disney does everything really well. Um, so I'd really like to see what's going on with the, with them. I'm kind of thinking Sainsbury's could be interesting as well. Yeah, um, me too. Yeah. Okay. Should we close the poll? Yeah, let's do it. I think there's still Decathlon in there. Um, sorry about that. They do have some issues right now. We would have been able to cover them as well, but their site is not available right now. So I think that might still be in the poll. Yeah, it is. So um, we'll have to skip uh, Decathlon and go to the others. So let's see. Okay, so Decathlon is number one. Unfortunately, <laughs> we cannot cover that. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Wayfair is number two. So wow. let's start with Wayfair, I'd say. Okay, perfect. And then maybe we'll have time later to look at L'Occitane as well. So great timing by Decathlon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone wants to see what they're doing, so they're hiding. Well, perhaps, they, perhaps they knew we were about to audit their site live. So uh, perhaps they uh, deliberately took the site down. Perhaps they've got something to hide, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want us to look at it. <laughs> All right, let's go to Wayfair then. Here we go. It's not bad. Great. So let's kind of look at their homepage when we enter the shop. What do you guys think? So I like the um, the search and the navigation bar. So this is the first thing that comes to my mind. Uh, of course, since we're looking at it from a fact finder perspective as well, mm -hmm. uh, or I'm coming from the fact finder lens, I'm looking to the search and navigation first. Um, I like that it's a big um, search bar. Um, it's very prominent. Everyone can see it immediately. And uh, I, f I feel like as also with the navigation bar, um, it makes sense and you know exactly what they have immediately. So I like it a lot. Yes, it's, um, it's quite colorful. Um, it's quite impactful, I think, from the start. So that, that's a good uh, that's a good start on their behalf. And again, I agree with the, the navigation. It's quite clear. And obviously the search bar is prominent as well, which is probably the most important thing. Mm -hmm. And we can also go ahead and just kind of look at their categories as well. I like how they're split up so that I think it's pretty um, split up like big. So we have a lot of different categories, but I kind of like that. Yeah. Um, also, I feel like they don't seem to have many uh, combinated categories. So that's mm -hmm. also great. Uh, everyone who's ever talked to one of us consultants knows uh, <laughs> that's <laughs> our biggest pet peeve, um, our um, combinated ca categories. So um, I really like that that's not really the case. I've seen it with lighting a bit where it says um, kitchen and dining, but I think the lighting for the kitchen and for the dining room are very similar. So I don't think that's a problem here. Yeah. Right. Okay. Let's scroll down a bit, but I feel like it looks pretty good with some um, you can see the categories here again, so yeah. um, that's great. And also, you can see an example of what it might be. So you can work with that. Right. And then we do have some open box outlet, some banners, which is always nice. Yeah. Yep, I like it. And different brands. Oh, pages. and some content as well. Great. Looks good. Okay. Um, I would suggest um, for the audience, um, maybe you can send us some um, suggestions for search terms we could use in um, the question box. Um, you can just type it in and then we can just kind of go ahead and act, act as a consumer and just kind of see how everything's looking from that side. So let's just wait a second to see um, what comes in. Obviously, DIY and renovation is such a big thing at the moment here as well in the UK. And I suppose this is this is a you know a, a perfect time of the year to to try and sell these types of products. 
Mm-hmm. Still got the, the home office information going up there as well. Still yeah. relevant. So True. it's on point, I think, with a lot of relevancy. Certainly at the top of the screen is good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that. Okay, and we are getting some search terms, which is great. Thank you. Um, so let's see. There's a lot. Let's go with mattress. Okay. So before you click enter, I'd really yeah. like to look at the suggest. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> this is also very prominent. Um, we only get search terms, uh, which I kind of, um, I'm missing uh, pictures, I'm missing product suggestions. Also, just to put them in the shopping cart, we've just seen the content, uh, but that's not prominent here. You have to scroll very um, way down um, in the homepage to see the content. So um, it could be a good idea to put it in the suggest here as well. Yeah, and even categories maybe or brand suggestions or anything um, could be nice as well as product suggestions, as you just mentioned. Um, that's always nice for the for a consumer to have as well. Yeah, certainly agree. With, on, so, yeah. Sorry, no, I uh, certainly certainly agree with the add to basket as well. I think that's uh, yeah. a definitely a, a quick way of short um, shortening the sales funnel, especially if you if you're showing relevant products at this stage and things like that. Um, you know, in relation to the characters which are typed, it's a really good way of shortening the sales funnel. I totally agree. All right, then let's click enter and see what happens. Okay, so we do so have we some... A... Sorry. <laughs> Sponsored post immediately. <laughs> yes, I was about to say that as well. Sponsored post, sponsored product, it seems like. And then some text, which I think is nice. Um, and then we get the products down here. Looks pretty good. We get a lot of information on them. Picture. Um, we can see that there are different sizes, so we have variants as well. Um, I also yeah. enjoy the free day to delivery and get it tomorrow and everything like those information, uh, this information as well. Uh, I like that it's very prominent and the rating is there on the page. So uh, you don't have to click into the product in order to see anything. So I really enjoy that. Yeah. Can you just scroll back up to the top for me just very quickly? Definitely. Top of the search results. It's interesting, the, um, I, I, I get the sponsored product thing. To me, as soon as, I, as soon as you hit enter and it went to this refresh to this page, instantly I thought that was some sort of pop-up that was, that was coming up. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that, to be honest. I'm a bit on the fence. <clears throat> okay. I don't know what you guys think, but... Um, maybe it's just a, a little bit much uh, immediately on the uh, on top. Uh, maybe if uh, the products would be first and then the pro- sponsored post, it would be a little bit better. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Or it's you can make it yeah. even incorporate it in the search result as like um, just, the, just like the size of one of the um, products could be sponsored as well. And just a little banner in here. That could be nice. But I don't think it's bad. Um, I like it. Uh, okay. Let's look at the uh, at the navig- at the filters because I yeah. really think those are also very important here. Definitely. So we have all the categories in here um, with all the different topics, which is nice. So you can just kind of navigate your way through. I like this fast delivery button. Mm-hmm. I think that's great. Okay, and then we get, okay, we have more filters in here. Firmness size, mattress type, price, which is always a good one. You could use here, um, especially for things like uh, firmness and t- um, and thickness and things like that, um, some kind of um, maybe guided selling uh, would help uh, just because a lot of people don't know what they need uh, just because, uh, especially for different weights, there are different suggestions to use. And yeah, of course, there are some people who like um, soft or um, or super hard um, products or whatever. I like that it says uh, which ones it suit, but um, yeah. I mean, that's still not enough. Uh, if you would just say, if you weigh um, up to 80 kilograms, you should, uh, this one is recommended or something like that. I think that would help. Yeah, definitely. I feel like, especially with mattresses, that's like a product you 
don't buy very regularly. So you maybe don't really know what you're looking for as a customer. Um, so it would be nice to have um, some sort of um, advisor in here to just kind of guide you through some questions to actually get you to a mattress that fits your needs. I agree with that. And, and also, it's a difficult product to return if you get it wrong. Yes. yes. <laughs> I think this uh, applies to a lot of uh, pro Wayfair's products. Uh, everything that's uh, bigger is really hard to return. So um, I think uh, Stuart is completely right here. Um, you want to have the right thing from the beginning. Mm -hmm. I agree. Let's just kind of look at how their filters work. Okay, so we do have some ranges in here and we can also type in which is nice the price we're looking for i feel like they could also work with a slider here but that mm. might just be personal preference i see it though because um of course uh, since you can uh give in the maximum price uh, by hand i think it's also fine uh but it would help uh, to have a slider just so you can define the range um yourself it's easy and also to but also mobile devices, sliders are a lot easier to use. Mm -hmm. just, just, thinking about the, just thinking about the different users that are coming to the website, not necessarily all coming from desktop. Yeah, agreed. Okay. Let's look at that. Okay, I like how they actually depict the stars right here. I it's think like the end up is a little bit confusing because mm -hmm. um, what do you need? So you want three stars and higher. Um, so it's all three, four, and five stars, or is it just um, all the three and uh, three until four stars? What's the um, what's the relevance here? I think this yeah. would be maybe map it a little bit together. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then it seems like they're all. Oh, they do have. Um... The logos in here. I that's like nice. that. Yeah, I do. I think that's really cool. Because mm -hmm. a lot of times, um, I don't know how you guys are, but a lot of times I don't know how actually a brand is called. But if I see their logo, I know that that's the one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You guys know what I mean? Yeah. Like that. Just show all, just show all brands there, actually, just see if they do it for, for all of them. Okay, so we get a little... Oh, no, oh, actually, so they not. don't have all of the brands. Obviously, obviously sponsored brands, I'm guessing. <clears throat> Probably. Okay. Yeah. Just out of interest, sorry, uh, in the search results, does that represent what we see in the search results? I can see, obviously, they're arguably sponsored brands in the uh, the filters. How does that look, actually, in the search results? Is that okay, let's kind of see. We have well? Wayfair Sleep in here, which is one of the sponsored ones. Um... Simple stuff's um, not one of them. Okay. Yeah, okay. Silent Night is one Silent of them. Night. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's just okay. a mix. Mm -hmm. I do think that all the brands should uh, be, pick the picture, um, not just the sponsored brands. I understand uh, that contracts may, um, may be in place here. But uh, the sponsored brands can be on top of the of it. Maybe show the sponsored brands and the suggest. But I feel like with the um, with the filters, um, I don't think there should be any sponsored things here. But I agree. Just do it for all of them. All right. Now let's look at one of the mattresses and just kind of look at the products. So we okay, get so all the information here which I really like. I also like that it gives you uh, immediately the options to pay. So, you know, even though you might not want mm -hmm. to uh, buy things with uh, different installments, you still might want to, um, you know, that now you can pay with Klarna or with ClearPay. So you have it immediately um, on display. I like that. Mm -hmm. I agree. I also like how they work with icons here, so it makes it easier for a customer to kind of find um, all the important um, attributes kind of to the product. Uh -huh. Okay, and then let's go ahead and see how their recommendations are. So we have similar items here. Look pretty good. I like the add to basket function. Yes. That's great. Okay, and then we get more from Wayfair Sleep. So that's a brand probably. 
um, which is also fine. Mm -hmm. And then we also get compatible products. Okay. And frequently bought together. They have a lot of recommendations. <laughs> That's a lot. Also, what's the difference between, um, I mean, I know the difference uh, between things that go together and frequently bought together, but I feel like you could um, you could mix them together and have just one recommendation um, topic. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, all the other recommendations, so the similar products, the um, more from Wayfair Sleep and uh, bought together, uh, or sorry, compatible products, um, have a slider. So there is a carousel here, uh, whereas with the uh, frequently bought together, it's simply under each other. So that's also yeah, not the same. And here's even one that's out of stock. Yeah. That probably shouldn't be in here. No. Um, I would not recommend something that you don't have in stock. Um, yeah, so it's, it's a lot. I would kind of tone it down quite a bit. In yeah. the future. And then we have one here that doesn't have any ratings. Maybe you don't want to recommend that either. Um, but other than that, oh, what kind of stands out to me is um, up here you have the add to basket. But down here we only have more like this. That's interesting. That's interesting. <laughs> I've never seen that before. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wonder what their reasoning for that is. I feel like they decided that um, because that that would be weird if they haven't decided that. But I wonder what the reasoning behind that is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay should we check we out? Get, yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was just gonna gonna say well, we have the ratings and reviews down here, which I think is nice. Also, that you can kind of search through them. I like that. And then some more infos. Oh, and we have more recommendations down there. Customers okay, open. I think that's just too much. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't have an add to basket here or anything else. That's interesting. Okay, and then we're all the way down the page. Okay, a lot of info, a lot of recommendations. And that's just okay. on the product detail page. <clears throat> uh-huh. I could sort of understand maybe it might be might be make more sense to have some of those other recommendations a little bit further on in the customer journey because obviously this is what we're talking about right customer journey yeah maybe um you know some of those those products that you want to cross sell and upsell might be more prevalent at the uh, checkout stage or even when you're you know you know basically at the the basket stage or something like that or you can simply uh, split it up. So you have in the, um, maybe on the homepage, you have very general recommendations. Um, on the uh, search um, overview, um, you can find yeah. maybe um, other uh, mattresses or um, some, cro if you want to cross sell, use those um, information, uh, those, this information here. And then um, for each product, you use the products that have been bought together to, uh, frequently. Yeah, I agree. Let's kind of look at the basket and just see if they have any recommendations in there and if they maybe up or cross sell. That'd be interesting. Okay, so we do get this little pop up. Okay, and then we also have a we also recommend which we cannot scroll down any further. We cannot see it all the way, but let's go and review the whole basket. Maybe we get a better view of that. Okay, basket looks good, in my opinion. Yeah, um, the recommendations here is, um, what are the, also mattresses. So I think here... Um, oh, in no, 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 that's a protector and pillows. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just saw mattress. All good. <laughs> um, but the protector is also out of, out of stock. So what you could do here is really try to do the cross-selling thing, um, especially in the basket. It makes a lot of sense here. Yeah. And I would, as um, as a consumer, I would really like to get more than two products in here as well. Just to give me some diversity and maybe even more products than just pillows and a mattress protector. Maybe I want like a duvet cover or anything in here or maybe even beds. 
Um, Especially considering that there are so many recommendations on the product detail page. Mm -hmm. So you could really split it up here. Yeah, it's like we said, just just sort of evening it out across the customer journey a little bit more, making sure that the the recommendations are relevant at the relevant at the at the appropriate stages. I also just uh, saw a question or a chat. There was uh, that speed seems to be the problem here. Um, as it seems to be a problem, so mm -hmm. this might also be the case. Um, I mean, we are in the office. So um, the internet won't be the problem, I think. So mm -hmm. um, that could also be the case with speed. I agree. Page speed is always a big thing as well. Okay, so we're kind of through the whole customer journey at this point. Um, what do you think? Should we kind of go ahead and find something that maybe gives us zero results to just kind of see what happens? Yeah. Try it out. Any suggestions? Um, I don't know. Maybe Ruggable. Ruggable is a brand. Uh, I don't think they sell like anywhere that. else. So That's a good one. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So as uh, we um, thought, there are no products here. I think that's fine. Um, but uh, yeah. We get some uh, a contact us button, which I really like. So you can uh, tell the cus uh, the um, customer service people to um, that you might like this product. So maybe mm -hmm. they can consider taking it into um, into the um, sortiment. Yep, like that. But did you, did you say they actually have the brand? No, no they, don't. they don't. They don't have the brand. Okay. I, don't know. I think that's a brand that actually only sells through their own page. Oh, uh, okay. Use anything else. Um, okay, and then we do get some departments in here. There's no image, which is a bummer. Everything kind of has to do with Office, or a lot of those. Uh, I was just about <laughs> to say that as well. There's a lot of Office um, departments in here. Mm. Which I get it. We still we're still in the pandemic. Um, a lot of people are doing home office and stuff, but maybe but it would maybe, be better to just have like a broader. Yeah, and maybe as well the the homepage was really good when we entered the site. It was really good, and the first thing that hit you obviously was a little bit about the the, the home office. But there was also mm -hmm. a bit about uh, DIY and renovation, and obviously springtime coming. So again, may, maybe making this a bit more seasonal, potentially this page. Uh, or just give a, an overview of the different departments. So say office, okay, but it's enough to have one thing about office. Then um, we have contractor, so it's one. But also maybe just furniture or maybe just living room or things like that. So that we have some more, um, yeah, more change here or more preferences. Mm -hmm. I agree. And then we do get some deals. Makes sense. Okay, and then we can shop all sales. I would like some content in here as well. If you have any, um, could be nice. Um, but yeah. I do think oh. the content is really hidden. So it was in the on the homepage and uh, nowhere else to see. Definitely. Good. So what's okay. your thoughts overall? Customer journey? experience overall i, I would it's say good. it's a pretty Sorry, good okay. shop the biggest thing or the biggest issue for me would be the suggest at first glance um i think they can do a lot better than that in their suggest but other than that i may be their recommendations um but yeah maybe we can go ahead and just kind of compare to a fact finder suggest what do you guys think Sure, let's do it. Just kind of to show what we can do. So let's look at one of our customers, Rocket St. George. Um, let's say we're looking for a chair. Okay, and then we do have, as we said, some products with a price. We have pictures for the products, which is nice. And then I'm on the small screen right now, so I have to scroll. Um, I think I don't think that's normally necessary if you're on a big screen 
Um, but we do have some search suggestions, category suggestions, which I think is great. So you can actually say, oh, I'm looking for a chair for my dining room, maybe, or whatever. Um, so that's great. Just to kind of give the audience um, a look at what a good suggest could look like. Okay, then any other thoughts on Wayfair? No, I do agree with you. I think uh, they do it pretty well. I like the customer journey overall. There is no real, uh, they make it easy for the customer to buy things. So that's great. I do agree. I think the suggest is the biggest, the biggest issue. Um, I also missed, since they do have content, I uh, can only <laughs> say, I've, say uh, I've said this a few times uh, today, but mm -hmm. since they have the content, uh, show it. It's very low on the homepage. You have to scroll down. Um, very few people will uh, do that. So, I agree. I agree with all your points. Suggest and Rex especially stick out for me. Mm -hmm. All right. Great. Then the audience wanted L'Occitane, right? Uh, yeah, we can. Uh, so let's skip to that one and just kind of see what we have here. All right, so let's skip to beauty. Um, great, so we do have a search bar. Compared to Wayfair, I would say it's a bit small. What do you guys and on, think? And on the left-hand side, mm -hmm. is yes. everyone's cup of tea, is it either, to be honest? Eyes are automatically drawn to the right. Anyone who's had uh, media background selling media, um, selling sort of uh, print media will, will tell you uh, prominent material should be in the right-hand side. So, uh, again, for me, the search bar is a prominent feature of the, of the homepage. And, again, for me personally, I'm more drawn to the right-hand side, so that's where I'd expect it to be. Also, I think um, it's it doesn't really stand out, the search bar. So, um, I mean, I know this is a style uh, option that they've decided on, um, and, and it makes sense, but they can draw attention to it without even changing uh, the picture. So, uh, what they could do is, um, for example, um, let a search, um, let an example search um, scroll by all the time. So, you can see something is happening there. And uh, just some examples, what you could search for, and um, then you can, um, it just draws the attention there. Yeah, I agree with that. Okay, and then we do have um, some different, we also have Easter, I like that, um, and then some different categories. I like how they have also um, the concerns in here, especially for skincare and stuff. Um, because a lot of times, I guess, when people are looking for skincare, they know what their issue is, but they don't really know which product to buy. Yes. That makes sense. So I like that. Also, I like that you can see how many products there are in each category. Mm -hmm. So you can see if it, it's worth it scrolling through it or uh, maybe you're just uh, too lazy to look into it. Uh, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. Yes, and I like their content. They have a skincare quiz in here that you can take to, I guess, find out what your skincare type is or something. Yes. That's nice. Uh -huh. um, yeah, so we do always get some sort of um, content, which is nice, and always a product as well. Their bestseller looks pretty good. And then with the gifts... We have occasion and recipient. I like. Okay. And then if we scroll down, we have a banner. And then we, again, we get some bestsellers as recommendations, which always makes sense. I like that. You can click on the Shop Now button, get some more info with the ratings um, and the price. And there are quite a few ratings. So it's not just uh, three people said um, they liked it and maybe mm -hmm. they're even... Uh, from the company, but you can see that they're legit. So I like that. Yeah. The one thing I like actually, um, and again, just from a consumer point of view, is at the top there was the um, free delivery over £25. 
mm-hmm. the amount of amount of times on a on a website you have to go hunting around for for, for delivery information, and I yeah. think it's just quite nice. It's quite eye catching. As soon as I've arrived at the site, I'm thinking, okay, yeah, I know what I need to spend to get free delivery. Also, what ha- um, when you click on the there is uh, something like a maps uh, uh, sign on next to the search. Yeah, the bu- oh, boutique like locator. The locator? <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, I also like that, uh, so that you can see where's the next um, where's the next store. Uh, just because some people prefer it to uh, see the um, to talk to people, to talk to someone, to a representative. Um, and who can really help them because uh, just be- from their expertise. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's quickly scroll down the page um, to get some more info. Okay, so we do get some content. That's always great. Easter ideas. And then, oh, you can actually add a photo in here as a customer. That's kind of cool. Oh, it's from Instagram. That's all. That's really cool. So they make their uh, they make their customers do the pictures for them. The mm-hmm. <laughs> the advertisements. Art. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Looks fine to me. Um, again. To the audience, if you guys have any um, search term ideas that we could use, um, please go ahead and just send them to us. So that way we can look for something together and get you involved a bit. So it's not just us talking and you listening. Okay, I think shampoo was a big, um, I've seen this now twice, so maybe okay. let's go with shampoo. Oh, okay, so they seem to not have a suggest, but the actual page changes. So we always, so we just get the result page. So I like That's that because you see immediately the, the that there are products available. I do think with a suggest we would have a little bit more of a compromised uh, picture. So uh, now we see the first uh, three products and they are the first three products that if you probably, when you click enter, those three products will be the first one to show. Um, Let check. Let's see. Oh, no. It has ch- no, it hasn't changed. Okay, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> um, <laughs> that would be weird. Uh, but no, you can. Um, those are the first three products that you can see. Um, if you would have a suggest a little bit more um, com- compromised, then um, you could uh, show like six or um, or eight p- um, products that uh, people might like. Also, maybe some categories that they might or brands that they might like to. Or content because they seem to have a lot of content, which is. Great, and they should display that more. Especially, I think well. the, um, they did have a skincare uh, guide or a mm-hmm. skincare quiz. Maybe I'm not sure if they have that for um, for hair care as well, because that would make sense. Um, if they have those uh, kind of quizzes, um, they could simply show them um, here uh, in the um, suggest. I agree. Okay. Um, I, 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 I sort of, I, I'm a bit on the fence with the suggestions as well. I mean, I'd like to say I, I, I'm with you two guys and say I like it, but I, I don't like, sometimes I've seen this type of experience before is you type and the products start shifting and moving and it just, just feels a little bit, for me, just feels a little bit too much sometimes. Mm-hmm. I just expect that suggest box to come up. Maybe I'm a creature of habit, but <laughs> I want to see that information sort of like separated a little bit. Um, but you know, again, I, I guess it's you know, I mean, we all shop different, and we all have different customer expectations and stuff. So, but that's just me. Definitely, but I like that point because I feel like um, there might be a lot of customers that also um, feel that this is a bit odd um, when the, when the result comes up immediately and always changes with every letter that they type. So that could be a problem for some customers um, because they're. There will be customers that like buying from the suggest without even 
clicking enter and going into the search result. So we might lose those. I don't know. I, I guess from yeah, and I guess from a business point point of view as well, um, from, from more from from the the brand's perspective in this case, yeah, I, you know, I suppose this is where you sort of like A B test different sort of like front end results and things and see mm-hmm. which ones perform the best. Because obviously they're, I guess they're basically not only they testing from a conversion point of view, but they're probably testing from a user experience point of view as well and getting feedback there. So um, maybe maybe this has all been tried and tested, and this is the the, the go to experience. So I'm obviously in the minority, so I, I apologise. <laughs> <laughs> um, but again, you know th- these types of things. Certainly with the the websites that we're looking at or we've selected today, uh, I would expect all of these brands and retailers to be doing extensive research in regards to the user experience and delivering. Of course, yes. This is this might be something of preference and we also know what's working and what's not. So maybe they did their research. Um, whereas we're just talking about things that um, that it generally are working. <laughs> but uh, I think this is also very interesting for our um, for our viewers to just see what's generally work- working. Yeah. Okay, let's look at the uh, results after you've searched for shampoo. Yes. So I kind of like, I don't know if I like it, but it highlights the word shampoo everywhere. <laughs> You can see where you see where you find the result. <laughs> yeah. Um, but other than that, I would say it seems like we do get shampoos in here, so that's great. Um mm-hmm. and we do get some more info on ratings, price, um, the size, which I think is always important as well. Yes. So yeah. I also kind of like their their little um stickers here that give you more info if the product's vegan or clean or without silicone or if it's a bestseller. I like that. It might be a bit too much, I think, though. So uh, with one sticker, it's fine. But especially looking at the first uh, product here, Mm -hmm. we have um, four different uh, stickers um, that it's vegan, that it's uh, free from silicone, that it is a hair awards winner. And what's the last one? I can really I, read it. But that I can't really even read it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a lot uh, mm-hmm. for all of it. I mean, I get it. Um, I, if it would have been like uh, maybe a little bit farther apart, that would make sense. But just the way that it is right now, it's just cluttered, I think. Yeah. Okay. And this is all something that maybe we could also see in the filters, um, hopefully. So let's kind of take a look at that. So we have um, our product types up here. Okay. So what we can see immediately is that we also have body care. Uh, as a, so it's not just shampoos. We have conditioners. We have body care. We have uh, shower gels. So it's not just shampoos. Um, I think this makes sense if it's part of a... Um, so if there's a shampoo and conditioner together... Other than that, um, yeah, it's maybe not too good. Yeah. Especially since, like, for men, there's a lot of times I feel like they they get, like, shampoo, conditioner, and then shower gel just in one bottle. So maybe that's the case. But if that's not the case, I don't want to see that in here. So let's, should we just take a look at sure. what that looks like? Okay, so that's not a three or two in one. Um, it's just some shower gel, shower cream, um, and that's what I'm what I'm saying. I don't want to see that under shampoo. When I'm looking for shampoo, I want to see shampoo for shampoo. my hair. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Also, like, what we were talking about earlier. Sorry that I'm uh, going no, again. Go ahead. It, it has to do with the filters, but again, here this could be a guided selling campaign. We we are talking. This don't have to be in uh, each, um, you don't have to do this with every keyword, but I think especially in skincare, hair care, um, the way that we were talking earlier with Wayfair, with mattresses and things, uh, you can uh, guide your customers so much better. Yeah, because I feel like all of these are products that when you're going to like an actual physical store, you would ask a salesperson, oh, I have this and this kind of hair, Um, what would you recommend? 
Yeah. Um, and since we don't have that online, um, it would be great to get asked some questions or have some more options in here to just kind of get help. I like that. Okay. Let's look at the other filters. Great. Uh, we already talked about that. This is mm -hmm. awesome. I agree. That one's perfect. Textures could be interesting. Why not? Collections make sense. Price, they and have the a price slider. Is a slider. That's what we like to see. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but that's also preferred. They could have anything else, but I like it. I like yeah. that you can work with that, but also type something in. That's nice. Okay. I want to see the uh, 99 pound bottle of shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> we can take a look, but I don't wait, know if there's wasted oh, on there me, is. though. Oh, it's, it's a whole calendar. Oh, it's a so calendar. It's Look at that. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. There are a lot of products here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, let's look at the um, search uh, at the uh, detail page, product detail page. Um, just one more thing that I just noticed with the concerns, because we said that we like them, um, but I feel like there's stuff missing in here. Like, oh. what if I do if I have oily hair or? That's true. Dry we have hair. normal hair, <laughs> but nothing else. Um, and everything else is if you already know what you need to do. So if you have oily hair, for example, maybe you need purifying or I don't know exactly what you yeah. need, but <laughs> <laughs> maybe you need purifying shampoo. Um, so you can see it here, but it's not the concern. You're right. I didn't catch that. I mean, it's not bad, but Maybe they could have like one filter where they say, oh, we have silicone-free hair care and we have um, gentle and balancing hair products. And then they could have another filter that says, um, I have normal hair, I have oily hair, I have maybe even um, dyed hair or something, like color, colored hair. Um, that could be interesting. But yeah. Okay. Should we go ahead and look at product detail page? Yes. Okay, sorry, their categories keep popping up. <laughs> so this is also something with uh, user friendliness, um, especially if you're on a laptop, um, you might look, um, you might have trouble, especially when you don't have a mouse. Um, you might, uh, yeah, stick to one position a little bit longer than you would with a mouse. So maybe. Um, if all, if the navigation always pops up, that might be a problem. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we do get some information. I like that you can also change the size. We have add to card, add to wish list. So this is great. Yeah, because then people hopefully won't use their cart as a wish list <laughs> and not actually check out because we've seen that in the past um, with some customers that they just use um, their cart and just kind of park all of the products that they like and they never buy them or they only buy a few of them. So I always like that some shops have wish lists. Okay, and then we get some, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> some more info. I like the how to use button because I've uh, I've had this problem before that uh, I bought, for example, especially with skincare, that I didn't know if I should use something in the mornings or in the evenings or when or if I, if it should be on wet um, skin or on dry skin or things like that. So um, I like that they have the how to use button. I mean, I know with a shampoo, a lot of people think that's, um, that's not necessary, but I've had this with skincare before. I know this from a personal experience. So um, I like that they uh, show you how to use it. Yes. Great. Okay. And then we do get this little pop up if we scroll down where we can still add it to the cart. Um, I think that's nice. But I think if you want to read something and it covers it, yeah, maybe a bit annoying. Okay. And then they also have ratings, which I like. The ratings are great. Um, do we have any recommendations? Oh, here we go. Customers also liked. Okay, so we do get four 
products as recommendations in here. Again, we have ratings, we have price. We can shop now. We cannot add it to the cart, but we can take a closer look. I would put the recommendations um, further to on the top, so I think higher than the uh, ratings, just because mm -hmm. then it's not as hard, uh, it's not as easy to miss. Because um, if you look through the recommendations, it might just be a lot, and then you uh, get bored of uh, scrolling. So if you want to look through the ratings, which you might want to do, and people are doing this a lot, um, before you buy a product, that's, uh, I mean, it's a shampoo, travel size, it's six pounds. So people want to see what they're buying, if it's worth their money. Um, mm -hmm. So if uh, before the recommendations, the uh, before the ratings, the recommendations uh, would be there, I think that would help to see the recommendations. Yeah. Okay, and th then we do get complete your routine, so maybe some cross-selling, which again, we can only view the products. Um, yeah, and um, not you can else. put an add to basket here immediately, especially if it's part of the routine, um, then people are more likely to add them to the basket without looking at it uh, because it's simply, okay, I need that. Okay, then I also need that and that and that. Shortening the sales funnel. Yes, always, yeah. Okay, and then we get some more info and then we're done. Okay, and then of course, all the content is down here, which I think is not bad, but they could also put some content in somewhere down here as well to just kind of help the customer with like their hair care routine or yes. whatever. Also, I, I didn't really see the content on the homepage, so... There could be, there is a lot of potential with the content you could use. Mm -hmm. Should we okay. go to the card? Yes. And then let's, okay. So let's go to the checkout. Okay, and then we get some Easter treat that we can add okay, that's awesome. right away. Pretty good. Promo code. And you can select samples, so also great. Okay, and then apparently, let's also kind of take these into consideration, these banners. Um, there's some info because here we can see there's also recommendations in here as well. I mean, it's a bit odd that they're on the side, I would say, because maybe you would miss them. Yeah, you might think this is just a banner. Mm-hmm. But other than that, I don't think that's a problem. Yeah, um, but there could like be the more two. because there's yeah, just the two of those. Um, I'm, I like that you can decide if it should be a gift or not. So um, you can uh, it can be wrapped up. Yep. Okay. okay. Sounds good. So what do you guys think overall? Because we are a bit short on time. Uh, for, for my side, I think it's uh, it's it's a nice clean site. Um, again, I think there's there's definitely things that could be improved. Uh, add the, adding to the basket is always a big one for me. I'm always going to pick up on that um, at the suggest stage, and also basically when we're looking at recommendations and things like that. It, for me, it's almost like it has to be a given. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I feel like they should place their recommendations a bit better just where they put them should be a bit better but other than that i agree um i'm coming up again with the content i know i've said this a lot today but uh, <laughs> i will continue saying this but um i think the content should just be more prominent um you could add it in the navigation you can add it in the um in the home page you can even add it on the um search um uh, product overview um, so I don't know. I think um, a little bit more information, especially for products that are very, um, that are kind of uh, for people who are picky. Um, if people don't know, don't have much expertise on in those things, I think that would help. All right. Then let's quickly jump back to our presentation. Um, and then I would say 
do we get did we get any questions so far um because to the audience if you do have any questions feel free we'll just use the last couple of minutes to just kind of go through some questions that might have popped up during the webinar uh, yes, there was the questions. Um, as we have seen with Wayfair, the two products recommended. How many products would you recommend to display in the shopping basket? Um, I personally um, really like carousels in this sort of place um, because I would. So I would recommend one sort of recommendation, so one kind, like. For example, for cross-selling, I really like that, especially with the mattresses. Um, that would work great. And then just have maybe two pages of a carousel. So maybe if you have four product on each carousel page, you would have eight products. That's kind of what I would like to see. What do you guys think? I, I agree. I, I think, you know, the carousel is, is definitely the way that I would approach it as well. Um, and giving the, 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 the user the, the experience of obviously flicking through the recommendations. Um, and I also think, again, from a, I'm just thinking from a brand perspective and a retail perspective, just think conversion rates. So sometimes less is more. Just make sure that they're more relevant um, as opposed to giving just such a big scope of recommendations. Just concentrate on more relevant ones. Yeah, definitely. I agree and with both of you. There's nothing to add here. <laughs> okay, I have one more thing to add. Um, always make sure that the products that you do recommend in these, um, in the shopping cart or on the product detail page, make sure that they're in stock. That's a very big thing. Um, and that they have a picture. I feel like that's because if they don't, probably no one will click on it. Absolutely. Again, relevancy. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Any other questions? So let's see. I haven't looked at it yet. Okay, so we have some more questions. Um, which features, uh, which which feature has the most impact on conversion? Um, are we are we talking about sort of search and navigation, or are we just talking about things like recs and things like that? Well, f for me, basically, the, the the search tool is is by far the most important aspect for me. Um, we all know that basically users that come to the site and use the search convert at a higher ratio. So getting the, the search right, and so concentrating on the suggest, nailing down the suggest, nailing down the user experience and the relevancy that uh, in regards to the products that are being returned and the content and everything else that we've talked about. And of course, making sure that the products when they're returned are again relevant um, because that's what the user is expecting. The user is expecting relevancy. I agree with that. Um, especially um, when you're going into categories or if you're um, searching for something, it the most impact will always ha be the ranking. How the products are sorted, um, what is positioned where, if the products on top are um in stock, if they have pictures, um, and then as, as Stuart says, some other things, um, how relevant are they for the customer? Do they match, of course, um, the search term um, and all these kind of things? There are a lot of things that go into it. Maybe you do want to position some things at the top to kind of push those products. Um, that's an option as well, but they will always um, have the greatest impact. We actually um, conducted some studies with that as well and came to the same conclusion. And, uh, I think just, one more thing. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, so I was just going to add put the, if you can, lay, if you can, obviously, personalization is such a, uh, and it has been such a big topical point for the last six or seven years and probably even longer. Again, that layer of personalization in regards to not only from a suggest element, but again, when the re results are returned, either through the category layers or through the, the search results. Obviously, I, trying to identify the, the user. At various stages of the of, of the journey as well is 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 subtly important. Yeah, I do agree with both of you. I think the search and especially the ranking has the most uh, impact. I have to uh, add one more little thing, and it's the first impression. Um, mm -hmm. uh, that just coming to the side. If you're overwhelmed, your customers will or the visitors will leave the page without even looking at it. So um, I think. Uh, 
First impression is also very important. And yes. the flip side of that is obviously if it's underwhelming, exactly the same. You'll, you'll, mm-hmm. you'll yeah. probably lose the customer. So it's finding that middle ground. Definitely. All right. Okay, we do have some more questions, but we don't have any time. So I yeah. think we're just going to stick with that. And uh, the other questions we can maybe answer later on. Yeah, I was going to say, um, and maybe this is even Stuart's part <laughs> as um, a sales uh, or from a sales perspective. But if you do have any questions, if you do like or would like to learn more about us, Fact Finder and Loop 54, or if you even want to go ahead and optimize um, your digital experience with us, always feel free to contact us. I will put up a slide in just a second. But just to give you like a quick overview, um, what kind of customers, um, or just a, like a little overview of customers that we we are um, working with right now that are using our search um, to kind of, if you after the webinar want to go ahead and just kind of look at their search maybe and look at how their customer journey is is going and do a little audit um, yourself. Um, you can just kind of take a look at that. And of course, uh, we can do those audits for you. Yes, definitely. So if you want us to look at your shop, feel free to contact us. We do have our um, contact info in here. We're always open to answer questions as well. So um, just go ahead and email us. That'd be great. So thank you very much, um, all of you. And I think that was a great webinar. Yes, thank you, guys. (laughs) Thank you, guys. Take care. All the best. Stay safe. Have a great rest of your day. Bye. Bye. Bye.